Hello and welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to be having a quick look at the double integral over some region D of x to the alpha, y to the beta, on the denominator of course there, dx dy. So we have our region D defined by the 1 by 1 square, or if we were to try and imagine that, it would just be a quick 1 by 1 square as such. So we also have that alpha is bound between 0 and 1, likewise with beta. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that we can do is rewrite this double integral with our actual upper and lower limits of integration here, since we know that we're just going from 0 to 1, 0 to 1 here. So our problem now becomes simply, well, both of them, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, dx, dy over x to the alpha, y to the beta. But of course, we know that writing x to the alpha, y to the beta on the denominator, we can, of course, just rewrite those in the numerator. However, what we'll do is we'll just write them with a negative indice. So that'll be x to the minus alpha, y to the minus beta, dx, dy. Okay, so now let's integrate this with respect to x first. So integrating x to the minus alpha, well, let's see what happens now. So we'll have still the integral from 0 to 1 with regards to our y. And now inside here, let's see what we've got. So x to the minus alpha plus 1, since we are integrating that. And then we know we'll divide by minus alpha plus 1 over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that off there, and we know we're substituting in values from 0 to 1. And on the outside as well, we'll have y to the minus beta dy. Okay, so now quickly substituting our values for x into here. So we'll have 1. So 1 to the power of anything is going to leave us with 1. And then we put a 0 in there, and that will just become 0. So what we see now is our problem essentially becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over minus alpha plus 1 y to the minus beta dy. Okay, and this is pretty much the exact same sort of integral that we've just done above, but now we're doing it with respect to y, and we've got that beta in the index. Okay, so let's quickly do that now. So integrating, we'll get, again, that 1 over minus alpha plus 1. I might just write that as 1 minus alpha. And we're now going to be multiplying that by y to the minus beta plus 1 all over minus beta plus 1. And that is, of course, when we're substituting in values from 0 to 1. And so again, we'll see the pretty much the exact same result that we had earlier. And so now our final answer just becomes 1 over 1 minus alpha. And then once we've evaluated that, we'll see that we have a value of 1 minus beta. And that's it. So there we go. So that is today's integral done. All right. So if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I really do appreciate it. And as always, stay curious.